Alright. Now we are about to fight what I think is gonna be for all the titles. Our undisputed fight that will cap this career mode playthrough. We gotta win the rematch as well, by the way. So let's uh let's first upgrade our guy, I don't think. Let's just get him all the way to max health. It's a max stat here. Let's get heart up. I don't know if this will do anything. Okay. Let's uh get our condition in shape. Let's drop some weight a little. Let's get a little sharper. There we go. All four titles. Un disputed challenge let me actually move my camera because I want that on my uh, on my uh, let me get that shot there we go undisputed challenge Let's do the negotiation. <sighs> we gotta avenge our losses. Should I just take the deal? You know what? I'm not even gonna mess around. I'm just gonna take what my manager got me. It does have a rematch clause. And we will do that. And I won't end the playthrough until we honor that rematch clause if we do win. So we're going to go at it again. A 10 week camp. Oh, it has three media activities. I've, I didn't see that. So, let's do reflex training, counter punching. We want more power against, you know what? We want endurance and block regen. Let's do media. Recovery, training, yoga. Media. Amount per camp. TV advert. Oh, TV advert gives me... Gives me weight. It doesn't even tell you. Fan meet and greet. I'm at 158. Yo, what is going on at this camp? Am I really going to have to go offensive sparring? And dietary. Um... 
I'm overweight. This isn't good. Those media obligations mess me up. I don't know. This isn't looking good. Can I recover from this? Overweight, undertrained. This is literally like the worst possible scenario that I wanted. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. Might have to fight at a very slow pace. Because I didn't realize that one of those media obligations would increase my weight and there are no indicators on the screen that say that, so... Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. This fight will take place in the welterweight division, 147 pound max or 67 kilos. And they'll have a slight weight advantage. And he'll be facing one of the best to ever do it. From the United States of America. In their last fight, they won by knockout. This is Canelo Alvarez from Mexico. The last time we saw them in action, they pulled off a very close win. Oh, by Brett. And now for the official introductions. We turn it over. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing in the red corner from All the United right. States of America. Wearing the orange trunks with Come blue on. trim. Saul Khanet. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. It's a privilege and an honor to be here. I feel so All so four good. belts. Right, talking about something I love. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. They ring the bell and here we go. He dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? Oh, my punches are definitely a little slower. Just misses with that jab. This fight has a real good flow to it. Well done with that counter shot. Come on. to try and challenge for multiple world titles. Will their legendary status be cemented in history? That's another scoring shot. Come on. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. He's going to go into a footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? Nice counter shot. Oh, I got hit. That was a smart. There's nothing quite like the chemistry between a fight. Smart move there to buy some time. Yeah, you got to clinch. What the idea is just to get your come on to complain to referee. Get him to complain about the conditions. Get him to just feel uncomfortable. Keep doing unorthodox things. I don't mind that now and again, but don't make a habit of it. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. <sighs> Oh. 
All right. Come on. We're hoping for an all action slug fest. This fight has been very one sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you will really come down. What a punch. Oh, what? I was backing out. I need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. I thought I was backing out. Shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Touching him up again. And a good decision here to clinch. You can't do that too often because the referee is eventually going to start taking points off you. We saw the referee walk. So final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. All right. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round was That was not good. And there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very very surprised if he come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a host of He's got a, He's got a block. My head damage is just crazy. This fighter, an absolute animal. Look at the KO percentage. Hold on to your seats, folks. There's a counter what? shot. It may not be pretty, but sometimes clinching is a knockdown hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues. Come on. idea with the jab but does not land I'm gonna try and relax a little bit now fight a little differently the perfect counter lands unlucky to miss with that jab final 10 seconds here unless we get some late drama I think we all know who won this round All right. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. You've been put down. You've got to think right, survive, and then give it by the next round. Not looking good. Action slugfest. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown! One minute. You need one. 
now what to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. This fighter loves throwing straight power shots. Their opponent has got to get that head off the center line. Not so Come on. anymore. Trying to loosen things up. I like it. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. He's going to loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Come on. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? This fighter, one of the top five in the world, no doubt about it. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. Come on. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more elusive now. Touching him up again. Good counter oh. punch. I got counter bad there. Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. They were cautious. Talk about a Ooh, that was close. We just saw dominance without a doubt make it look so so easy. I was playing, uh, that was almost, I almost got knocked out right at the end there. <laughs> I was fighting really smart until those last five seconds. All right. So if I bob my, and weave. Really strong round. Let's see if they can finish the job. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You can see from the record, this fighter is fantastic and is really difficult to get past. So he's gonna drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest decision. Oh, Looks like they're gonna head. their strategy a little bit here. Come on. A very competitive round here so far. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. That's not legal. Come on. Nice counter. Ooh, I got hit. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Come on. saw in that last round it's pretty obvious who has thanks for the follow uh corono suki thank you very much how are you doing i'm doing fine trying to beat canelo in my career mode here they ring the bell and here we go thanks Domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, it is not broken, right? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's uh, fight a little smarter here. you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round a very close match it shows the skill the discipline the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of him jab does not score That uppercut just missed. Come on, come on. Let's... Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. All right, I think I might have won that round. I'll check on Twitter <laughs> later on. Alright, so I think we're doing pretty good in this fight. Uh, we've kind of stabilized. And... Let's see. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Come on, come on. No, what are you doing? I was trying to get out of there. Not sure that's the wisest decision. Oh, that was bad. And the referee will begin the count. Ten seconds to get up. I couldn't hold. Shit. Damn it. See what the judges had it. Judges had it even. Wow. I think I've kind of almost figured out what I need to do. Now I have to keep him keep in mind here. My camp was not very good, and I. S I could definitely feel that I was a little more sluggish than than normal, so. All right, we're still in the top five, so we'll still be able to fight for the titles. Alright, let's do 
Wow, and I'm already under-trained. Shit, this is bad. Maybe I should get injured on purpose just to... Uh. To buy a little more time. Who's this? Under trained. Already we're doing the camp. Well, this is already a bad fight camp. Overweight at 163. For dietary change. If you are not careful, you could go out of weight with this activity. Focus on lowering your weight through a training activity. Alright, let's do uh, offensive sparring. Let's do... Dietary change. There we go. Recovery. Media. Social media. Why am I losing pounds? This is so stupid. I should just injure myself <laughs> on purpose to get out of this because I'm not gonna be able to have a good camp. Let's see where we can go from here. Jump rope. Media obligation. What happens if I don't do my media obligations? Dietary change. Wait, what happened? What happened just now? Oh, it forces me to do my media obligation. You are outside of agreed weight stipulations as you are over 5% of the weight limit. The fight has been canceled. Alright, I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. Negotiate. Alright, let's get in fight shape first. We're not in... I gotta pay more attention to those weeks and media obligations. Alright, we're at 145. And now we gotta increase our sharpness a little bit. Alright. Now we're gonna do the Canelo fight again. We're going to Noko Sheet. 12 weeks. One activity. Attempt negotiation. Accepted. There we go. Alright, we're going to be able to have a good camp now. Why am I sluggish already? Alright. 
Let's do defensive sparring. Let's do punching bag. Let's do what do we do now? Yoga. Recovery. Media obligation. Social media. So you're telling me I had to I gained three pounds doing a social media post? bag maybe training dummy stamina regen isn't bad let's do punching bag again punching bag actually we don't want to let's do punching bag Do dietary change, recovery 3.3. All right, we're 100, 100, and 154. We're at weight. All contested belts. Now we can fight Canelo at full strength. And I think I have an idea of how I can beat him. It's actually a lot harder because I'm a southpaw, I think. I have to try to get him on F circle to the right sign. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. You've heard of people dancing underneath the moonlight. Tonight, it's a fight underneath the moonlight. And what a fight it should be. You can hear the noise. You can hear the fun. I've been to many, many fight fights. And it's very, very weird. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. And here we go. And there's the bell to start the round. Not so tense anymore, trying to loosen things up. I like it. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. That punch has been his best weapon all fight long. My head really already... Try and challenge for multiple world titles. Will their legendary status be cemented in history? He's going to loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. Defense is not an option for these two. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline. Come on. Respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Look, misses. All right, my head's in trouble here. He's going to drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest decision. 
Missed with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how right. he responds here in the next round. Dominance without a doubt. They ring the bell and here we go. Come on. Momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my muscle is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Come on. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you won the time down. You know they have an amazing relationship for their coach. They've been working together for a while now, and it's really paying off. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Come on, you got to leave out of there. Come on, why why just stand there for? Come on. That jab doesn't find a home. Nice job blocking that right. Nice counter. Quick punch scores. Hey, those punches add up. You know, we may be in for a short fight. This fighter, an absolute animal. Look Come on. I'm getting tired of seeing these two fighters hold and clinch. I don't know if it's a dancing competition or a fight. That counter shot lands. Despite what the judges' scorecards read. I'm um, in a little bit of trouble here. here. for them finally comes to a close the bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound all right we're hoping for an all-action slugfest coming off a very tough round let's see what they do here that was a tough last round now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him that's what he's going to try and do so tie him up hold him lean on him don't get drawn into a fight not yet not until your senses have come back come on and he wasn't ready for that counter punch not a lot of punch output thought there would be uh, some more action gotta be careful Looks like a little change of strategy here. Trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. This fighter loves throwing straight power shots. Their opponent has got to get that head off the center line. And once again, he gets clinched. Sometimes you've got to go with the instincts. Hold on tight till your head clears, till you get your breath back, till the referee steps in. Tough to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Come on. You're relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? Come on, Canelo. Come on. There to clinch. You've got to save that in the back because if you're ever hitting her, a clinch will save your life. You've got to hold on, clear your head, step off again, push them, hold them, lean them down. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. That was a 
was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't All right. up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker. I thought I was okay in that round. We were still battering them, but they won the last round. And there's the bell to start the round. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. My head. He's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. Come on. You know, we have to rate them as one of the best in their weight class. That punch scores. Ooh, it took some hits going for that body. It's a little dangerous. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more elusive now. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. You can see from the record, this fighter is fantastic and is really difficult to get past. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Another scoring shot there. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Punch, counter punch. Come on. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? Come on. Let's be safe. That punch lands. You know the scorecards are going to be up and up. Come on. I'm trying to grab him. And the referee will begin the count. Ten seconds to get up. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. Blink and you miss it. Good thing we can watch that over and over again. I was literally trying to grab. Took him out. Four, five, six, seven. It's ridiculous. It's not over until it's over. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with it. And wisely here, they're going to clinch and hold on to stop this offensive onslaught. It tells me so much when a fight is holding on. It means they've been hurt, it means they're tired, or it means they don't know what to do. Beautiful counterpunch. Well, it's a smart move to clinch, but you can't do that too often. How to hold and get him off, come on. Punches land. Looks like they're going to mix up their strategy a little bit here. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. You got to get out of there. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. Come on. That punch landed. <laughs> Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. He is down All right. big time on the scores. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You they ring the bell and here we go. 
after that last round, something has got to change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Come on. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. <laughs> and shoot. Nice job to block that uppercut. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Come on. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. And a good decision here to clinch. Yeah, you got to clinch. What the idea is just to get your opponent to complain to what you're Get him to complain about the condition. Get him to just feel uncomfortable. Come on. Keep doing a more for that thing. I don't mind that now and again, but don't make a habit of it. Both of these fighters have... What's the referee thing? Oh, I got him. Right and they're down. We'll there we go. There we go. We've got instant replay. We get to see it again. Where did that come from? What a shot. One, One. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, he just got up. Let's go. Stretch. We're hoping for an all action slug fest. They barely survived the last round after two. What? It looks like Did they cheat? Over. Can you miss it? Good thing we can watch that Literally over and over again. Shot from the feels like they put on a cheat code right the there. <laughs> I couldn't even look at my bar. Literally like the cheat code. Unbelievable. So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. What a build up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fight I mean, to be fair, it, it is realistic because if a, 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 a fighter um, down on the cards is going to come out exploding, you know, to try to try to come back but after two knockouts two knockdowns and then coming right out like that I don't know and I couldn't even see where my meters were because the scoreboard was covering it that fake scorecard thing so all right well we get a rematch I might not be in the top five anymore, though. Uh, 
I'm out of the top. Offensive sparring. If you are not careful, you could go out of weight with this next activity. Focus on lowering your weight through a training activity. Dietary change. We'll do a media. So I lose pounds. Put posting on social media. That's so dumb. Offensive sparring. Defense. Power punching. Dietary change. One sixty. I'm overweight. They don't give you enough. They didn't give me enough time in between fights to get my weight and and everything correct. It's lame. I'm overweight and I'm only fighting for two of the belts. Empire Fight Camp. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. Time for our tale of the tape. They'll be fighting as welterweights, maximum 67 kilos, and they will have a power advantage here. And he'll be taking on the legend himself, Saul Canelo Alvarez. You can see who has more experience. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. From the United States of America. All right. Let's try this again. That last one annoyed me. Tonight, what a unique environment as we get set for this high energy showdown. The fans are getting desperate, they want to get involved in this fight, and now the action's about to begin. What a great venue! And now I'm only fighting for two of the titles. Wait for this one. They ring the bell, and here we go. Body shot work is fantastic. We're gonna work the body more. Multiple world titles are on the line. A chance to really become a legend here and make some real history. Nope, that 
jab not going to score. Looks like a little change of strategy here. Trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. Come on. There's a counter shot. There's nothing quite like the chemistry between a fighter and their coach. And this partnership is working well. We're going to try to relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. Smart move there to get off of me. You can't do that too often because the referee is eventually going to start taking points off you. You saw the referee watch, look, didn't say anything, just gesture to say I've checked you. Now be careful because when he starts pulling, taking you out of your rhythm, it's Are we about to see a really? I couldn't even hold. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? One, two, three, four, five, six. You gotta wonder. And there's the bell to start the round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. One minute. You need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to much strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. An upset of the year, perhaps right before our eyes. Yeah, get down. Get down. Okay. Well, he's back on his feet, but right now, the corner's trying to figure out throwing in the towers. He's up for, for, for how long? Look at him. On the heel, but look at him. He's there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. He just took one more clear shot. A clean one. And he's out of there. Halfway through the round, and I think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. Is that ever hope? Remember fighting by the Holocaust? They're always looking for that KO. And we can see an upset right here. There we go. Stay down. What a shot. Oh, come on, he got up. Can't believe they managed to beat the count, but that could be the last hurrah. He's got to waste time. Yes. Oh, and that changes everything. And Stay down. Thank goodness we've got instant replay. We get to see it again. I've got to see that again. Come on, give me those belts. Oh, TKO, wow. The argument's going to rumble on. The crowd aren't happy. The fighters aren't happy. They wanted to see a definitive end to this fight. These guys are going to have to do it all over again. Um, the champ. Two, two belt champ now. Still got to get the undisputed, though.
IBF welterweight world title. SGI welterweight world title. Oh, we're not in the top five anymore. Come on. So I got to fight some scrub to get back in. All right, so we got two belts. We're going to continue our push for Undisputed.